Um, definitely the things I learned on the tennis court transfer over to surgery and now more than ever. This whole pandemic has brought us together and it's made us all realize that it's so much bigger than just yourself. Um, we, everyone's pulling together, everyone's having each other's backs and we're going the extra mile to get the job done. And that's our, that's our goal every day, just to get the job done and come back the next day ready to fight again. Right, it's an eerie feeling. Um, places that were filled with hundreds and thousands of people like Times Square before are now empty, completely deserted. But um, I think one thing I learned about New York coming here is that it, they're a resilient bunch. Uh, they're tough people and um, we're really getting a lot of support from the New York community, whether it's people donating food, donating masks or other um, supplies um, to the hospital. And it's these little things that really keep us going every day and we're very fortunate. There's actually a pretty strong rice community here in New York and one of the rice grads, and he may have been an engineer, he's now a cardiologist here at Rice. He's, as soon as this pandemic hit, he's 3D printing masks for all, and dis distributing all across New York. So that's really great. Um, we're, also, we're still pretty short on the N95 masks, the special respiratory masks. So if any donations would be uh, really, really greatly appreciated. And I can send you a link to where people can call and donate. Um, again, just fr coming from New York where it's the epicenter, things are hit really hard. Seeing a lot of things that are quite difficult. I know a lot of people at home think, I think they're invincible and this is more of an old person's disease. People who are sick will, do, um, will be hit the hardest with COVID, but where I'm seeing young patients who, you know, just a couple of weeks ago were running marathons and now on a breathing machine fighting for their lives. So um, it's naive to think that this won't affect you or that you that you won't be able to infect other people. So I think the safest thing right now is to stay at home. And I know it's difficult, it's boring, but think of it this way. You're not stuck at home, you're safe at home. and. Uh, continue supporting the healthcare workers that are out there sacrificing their lives every day.